Well, hi and greetings from Northern Michigan. This is Bob the Science Guy. I was browsing through YouTube the other day and this video caught my eye. It's in the ranty flat earth chandre of X number of miles over water, no curved sea, globe destroyed. But uh, I figured I'd have a quick look at it. And I looked through it and what they've got is a bunch of weird filters on their camera. They've got some um, oil rigs clearly showing curvature, which they're going to try and figure out a way to claim that that's flat. And then they've got this kind of creepy looking lighthouse. And, you know, I mean, it's sitting out there. It's a big old lighthouse on a pillar. And I just thought it was kind of weird. So that kind of caught my attention. But one thing that I did kind of like about it is in production, they got this baseball thing going. And uh, I just thought that was kind of cool. Let's have a look. The pitcher, steroid Santa Claus, kicks and deals. It's a long fly ball going back, back. And the ball shatters the sky, bringing the ocean itself down into the stadium. Oh, Sith broke this dream's reality wide open. So I decided to have a look at the comments and maybe leave one for them. Uh, basically, I said, you know, hey, what do you think you're seeing here? So we get a quick answer, and he comes back with the usual flat earth. You know, we're seeing things that we shouldn't be able to see on the globe. Globe defenders don't have any, re any response, blah, 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 blah. And then some other people come through and point out that, you know, he's claiming to see things that really can't be seen. You know, and he claims to see the Isle of Man in this. I don't. I see wind turbines missing their bottoms. I see the upper parts of oil rigs without bottoms, again, due to curvature. We talk about the Royal Sovereign Light Tower, and you're missing a lot of it due to the curvature. So basically, I said, hey, we got two options here. Why don't you go ahead and get some photos of this? Calculate how much of the flatness is missing from their bases, and if you'd like to discuss it a little bit, we'll we'll go through it. Or I can do it, and I'll just do a debunk on it. And then I asked him how he wanted to proceed. Well, he came back with this. Yeah, 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 yeah. I asked him about the measurements of the tower and how much was visible, etc. And then I basically did a quick little debunk of the uh, Royal Sovereign Light Tower observation, which showed it was basically perfectly normal. Well, that wasn't quite good enough for him. You know, basically he said, yeah, go ahead and debunk it. It doesn't seem like he got the memo. I'm afraid it's all over, Bob. Oh, I can't science. And then he basically says, do my worst. Well, okay, let's lay a little science on you. Okay, as I said, this is basically a ranty flat earth proof of the globe put out by a flat earth proponent that doesn't realize he's proving the globe. Now, Outerlands here was offered help with this, but he feels that he's ready to go for the big leagues. So, let's go ahead and give you a tryout, my man. Okay, one foot of elevation. We've got a bunch of wind towers up here. It looks like the blades are long enough they're actually dipping into the water. And boy, look at that mirage. Let's see what else he has. Ooh, cool effect. Okay, more wind towers. I don't see the Isle of Man. I see some clouds right here. Look clear below it, and then I see a bunch of water. Ooh, strike one. We're playing baseball. Okay, so far we have an imaginary Isle of Man. We have normal loss of the bottoms of wind turbines due to curvature. And we've got a lot of distortion. I don't see anything of note here. So I'm going to have to disagree with him. I'm going to call that ball one. All right. Boy, that, we're missing a lot of flatness on that oil rig right there. Let's go see. Well, it's pretty low to the beach here. All right. Let's see what else you got there, bucko. Oh, it's another day with a calmer ocean. Let's go see what we have here. No, that's not water we see beyond the platforms. So we got a little inferior mirage. Yeah, we might have a small boat down there. All right. Let's 
see. So we're pretty low here again. Again, we've got this tower well below the horizon, and that one looks like it's missing some too. Okay, so let's have a look at that far oil rig. That's called Platform Habitat, and it's 9.41 miles. Okay, so we have a guy having a cigarette on an oil rig, which is just wrong on so many different levels. But let's see if we can find some information from him. That's about right. It's 93 points. That's about right. You see where that kind of goes to the deck right here? And then right up to the pilot house. Let's take that and make it kind of go there. There. It's about man height, wouldn't you think? What do you think? That looks pretty good. Okay, so what I think I'll do here is start a little table. We've got a uh, man that's about six foot tall and he's 106 points high. So we can calculate how many points per foot that is and kind of get an idea. Then we can use that to make some other calculations. Let's have a look here. Then we make a little side trip over to Walter Bisson's Advanced Earth Curve Calculator. We go ahead and put the numbers in, and we see how much is hidden, and that comes up to 20.69 feet. Now let's go ahead and put those numbers on the photograph so we can see where the horizon should be. And there you have it. We are seeing pretty much exactly what he's seeing in his video from an observer height of six feet. Now, there may be a foot or two difference here, and there also may be some differences in refraction, but I think that this is actually very accurate. Now, if you look at that supply boat there on the right, you recall we saw an object that looked like a boat out there. If you look in the center of this photograph, uh, towards you know a little bit towards the bottom, you'll see what we're talking mm -hmm. about. That looks like a little plank or something in the water with a light on the left side of it. Now, if you look back here at our picture with the horizon mark, you'll see that that comes right to the very roof of that boat, which perfectly accounts for what we're seeing. And I'm thinking that's ball two. Let's see what else. Oh. Boy, that doesn't look real stable, does it? That looks like a light tower. Let's go see what we can find. Okay, so here's some three feet of elevation. Let's go see what we have. All right, so here's the light tower right here. Here's the top. This is a telescoping platform it's on, and here's the shoulder of that platform. Shoulder of the platform. Here's the bottom. Here's the red stripe. And here's the focal length right up here. That focal height is 92 feet. Boy, it looks like we're missing 3.7 meters right here. So let's go ahead. So... Let's put this on material for a minute. So we're going to put in an observer height of six feet. We're going to put in a distance of 6.88 miles. And we're going to put in a focal height of 92 feet. And then let's hit standard refraction of that sound. So let's go ahead and see what we have here.
All right. Now we calculated that out to be 3.7 meters. So we're going to go back over here to meters. Okay. So we have even less than 3.7 meters, but he said that he was lower than six feet. So let's go ahead and bring this down. Keep coming down until we get to 3.7 feet. That's pretty close right there, don't you think? Let's see how high that is. 2.69 feet. Now, what did he say that he was from? And the count is 0 and 3. Well, Outer Lands, you show some potential, but I don't think you're quite ready yet for the show. The organization has decided to make a change, and we're going to send you back down to the miners to work on your fundamentals for a while. Once again, thank you everybody for watching. I hope that this uh, was helpful and you learned how to analyze one of these Flat Earth videos. Uh, please take a moment to hit the like and subscribe button, and uh, we'll be seeing you later. This is Bob the Science Guy signing out from Northern Michigan.